welcome to this video guys in this video we are going to make this support of the gripper for this robotic arm i have uploaded all the videos for this robotic arm how to model this how to assemble this and you can find the link in the robotic arm modeling and assembling in the description so let's begin with this video guys make sure that you have open a part file and selected millimeters as units select front plane click on sketch and then select this center line this is for reference make a center line select this line and make sure that you have selected this horizontal relation specify the length of this line by 42 millimeter now select a circle and make a circle at this corner and now specify the diameter of this circle let's specify as 40 millimeter and now select this midpoint line make a midpoint line like this press escape button select this midpoint line and vertical relation this would be at 90 degree now make these lines make a complete rectangle shape and here specify the length of this line this is 90 and length of this line would be 10 millimeter and now select a line and make here a straight line guys make sure you make straight straight lines like this now select trim entities and trim these lines and arcs and now select a circle and trace this midpoint make a circle here select smart dimension specify the diameter of the circle first let's specify as 5 mm select this line and the midpoint of the circle let's specify the distance as 10 mm and now since i want the same circle on the other side either can i make the circle on the other side or i use this mirror entities command so i am using this mirror entities command go to features and since our sketch is completed and i am extruded it up to 20 millimeter now select this face click on sketch and make a circle at this midpoint you can trace the midpoint and here you can specify the diameter of the circle let's specify as 20 now let's simply extrude it and extrude it only one direction let's press let's extrude it up to 15 millimeter check this box from here since i want to mirror the same feature on the other side but i do not have the right plane so no problem we can make a plane by this reference geometry select these two faces and this right here is the plane that cuts this part at the mid so you can make a plane like this and now select this mirror feature select this plane in this window and feature to mirror this shaft like feature check this box from here and the feature is mirrored either you can make the feature or you can mirror the feature it's up to you select this face click on sketch and here let's make a reference center line now select this center rectangle and make here a center rectangle now let's specify the length of this one 10 millimeter let's specify as 12 it would be better now go to features and extrude it cut and uh, it would be cutting like this a specifier through all check this box from here okay and uh, now let's specify some appearance before filleting it you can specify any color you like this is optional stuff select this uh, fillet command and here specify the radius of the fillet to this corner and all of these corners one by one filleting is not a big deal you can fill it e either all the corners this is up to you make sure this yellow color appears so this part is completed guys and as i told you that i have already uploaded the whole playlist on robotic arm you can check the link in the description see you in the next video guys thanks for watching